<laughs> hey, this is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> Make sure to comment down below what your reactions are to some of these, because uh, there's definitely a couple on here that you're gonna be like, wait, what? <laughs> but anyways, let's get into the video. What is up, Thrill Seekers? So today I am going to be taking you guys through my top 10 least favorite coasters. Now, um, on the in the title of this video, of course, it, first of all, it says trigger warning. That's definitely true for a couple of these. Um, so if you get mad easily um, and have a tendency to throw things or squeeze things, or just do anything that Tyler from Coaster Craziness does, um, then please move all expensive items out of the way of your reach. Um, and then the second thing um, is that it says thrill coasters. Um, now, when I say thrill coasters, I just mean any coaster that tries to give you thrills. Um, there are like a couple family coasters on this list, um, but because they are meant to give you some sort of like thrilling experience, I put them on here. Um, I'm just basically, I just don't want to make a big list of like a whole bunch of wacky worms that I've written. Um, and those are my least favorite, you know, um, that would not be entertaining. So anyways, let's get into it, starting with number 10. Number 10 is a coaster that I didn't really get as much headbanging on as it was just boring. Um, I did get a decent amount of headbanging, um, but really the main reason why I don't like this coaster is just because it's super boring. This coaster is Anaconda at King's Dominion. Um, lots of people hate on this coaster, and until I wrote it, like I, I completely understood why, um, and I definitely understood more when I wrote it this past year. Um, by the way, check out King's Dominion vlog in the corner. Um, anyways, it's just a super, like, not fun ride. Um, I wouldn't say it's the most, like, boring thing, or sorry, the most, like, painful thing ever, um, but it is super boring, and combined with the headbanging that you do get, um, it just makes for a very bad ride. So going into number nine, number nine is actually a coaster that I split in half. The first half is probably one of my favorite coasters, super fun, but the second half is something that I do not like at all. Um, and that is actually also at King's Dominion. It is Twisted Timbers. Uh, yeah, lots of people are very confused or angry. Um, definitely like all of the Twisted Timbers fans and really all of the RMC fans in general are pretty mad about that one. But um, the first half of it is amazing. When I say the first half, I mean anything up to that cutback after the three um, huge airtime hills. Um, all of that little section is super fun. The Barrel drop is super awesome. The three big airtime hills um, are super fun and the cutback is super cool. Um, but like the whole second half pretty much um, is all really painful for me. Um, the RMC restraints, I don't really like them, like the especially the new ones at least. Um, they have shin guards which really press, um, press up against your shins. There are some shin guards that like don't really hit your th shins, but you can't really move your leg out that far. Um, these really press up against your shins um, and in a really awkward position, because like if your shin is here, right, this is your shin, and it's kind of shaped as a cup, you would expect it to just go like that, but it ends up going like that. And it's really hard right there, and it hurts really bad, kind of like, like this, right? Um, and it is not fun at all. Um, so yeah, that's the really the main reason why I, I don't like 
um, Twisted Timbers as much as a lot of people do is just because of the second half of the ride. Slam, slam up into the restraints and it's not fun. The only fun part about um, about the second half is the um, barrel roll, which is super fun, gives you a lot of hang time, but other than that, kind of sucks. <laughs> Number eight um, is a coaster right here in Texas. Um, it is something that me, as well as a lot of my coaster enthusiast friends, um, very much do not like, and that is La Vibora, um, or La Vibora, or however you want to say it. I've heard it both ways and even more ways as well. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm calling it La Vibora because that's how I learned it. Um, it is a bobsled coaster at Six Flags Over Texas, and it is not good at all. Um, the reason why is not because the actual bobsled portion isn't fun. The bobsled portion is super fun, but the part that's not fun um, is there's mid-course brake runs, and it has to straighten out in order to go through the brakes, um, and it's like has to hit the sides of these little metal railings that kind of um, come in to make the brake run and it just slams the side of them and bounces you around and it, it's not fun at all. Um, so that's why that's on this list. It's just not really fun, super painful at a lot of parts of the ride and that's why it's one of my least favorite coasters. Number seven is actually a coaster that is not um, at this park anymore. It's actually the third coaster um, on this list. Third and not final. Third and not final coaster on this list from this park. Um, from King's Dominion, it is Shockwave. Um, like I said, it's not um, at King's Dominion anymore, but the first time I did go to King's Dominion, I did have the displeasure of riding this roller coaster. Uh, I completely am very much praising the decision of taking this coaster out. It is not fun, um, or it wasn't fun at least. Um, it is a stand-up coaster, and it's not like a B&M stand-up coaster or anything. I believe it was a Togo, um, and you know how those coasters, like the kind of reputation that they have. Um, overall, it just was super rough. The over-the-shoulder restraints were not fun. You slammed your head into them a lot. Um, being a biological male, being, hello, um, it was not fun <laughs> um, because you kind of slammed down onto the part that came like up through, I don't have to explain it. It just was not fun at all. Um, it It is not a good ride, very happy that they took it out. And I believe it's Delirium that's in its place, um, which I was able to ride the last time that I went. And that was a lot better than Shockwave for sure. Number six is another coaster that also has a bad rap. It is at Six Flags St. Louis, and that is Ninja. It is a coaster that I believe was made by two manufacturers. I think Vacoma ended up finishing it. Um, and it is not fun at all. Um, it is a very like classic aero looper style coaster. Um, and lots, a decent amount of aero loopers are actually kind of fun. Um, at least if you get a good ride on it, if you sit in a certain spot, stuff like that. Ninja is not one of those. The transitions are awful at a lot of points in the ride. Uh, the first part of the ride, you kind of turn around in this little turnaround and then go through two loops. Um, though those are actually relatively smooth and pretty fun, but then you go up into a Immelman, I believe, and that is really where it starts. You kind of get halfway through the Immelman where you're completely inverted, um, but the turn out of it is awful, and really the whole rest of the ride just gives you a whole bunch of head banging, um, like you hit your head on the restraints a whole bunch of times. Uh, throughout the rest of the ride. The transitions, like I said, are super bad and overall it's just not a fun ride. Number five is at a park that um, some people haven't really heard of. It's not 
a super huge park. It's not really part of a big train or anything, um, but it is Canopy Lake Park. Um, and I am talking about Corkscrew. I believe it's still there, but I haven't been to Canopy Lake Park in a couple years, so I, this might be a defunct coaster. I honestly don't know, um, but it is not a fun ride. It's a pretty classic Corkscrew model, relatively similar to Corkscrew at Cedar Point, um, except it does not have a loop, I don't believe. Um, again, it's been a long time since I've ridden it, but I do remember hitting my head on the restraints a whole bunch of times. Um, whenever I went on it. I think I did it like maybe twice just because there's very few roller coasters at the park. Um, so even though it's a bad roller coaster, it's still something. Um, so I went on it a couple times and overall it was, it was not fun. Um, yeah, the transitions just like Ninja are really bad. The corkscrews um, were not smooth at all. Um, overall, just a super bad ride. <laughs> number four is both number four on this list and also the my least favorite coaster um, at this park. Um, at least, yeah, yeah, least favorite coaster at this park. Um, it is a coaster that I have actually heard a lot of praise for, especially the night rides, and I got a night ride and it was still awful. Um, and that is Grizzly at King's Dominion. Um, it is a very old wooden coaster and you can really, really feel the old roughness of it. Um, and no, I did not sit in a wheel seat. Um, so if you're asking, maybe you sat in a wheel seat and that's why you got a bad ride, I did not. Um, I sat towards the back, yes, um, but the first time I rode it, I believe I sat pretty much in the front row, um, and it was still awful. You really hit the sides of the restraints, which is interesting, because the restraint is kind of oriented like this. Hopefully, I remember in editing to, like, make sure that the POV isn't showing during this part, but you're sitting down, the restraint is kind of like this, and it goes over here. What you do is you hit this side, which does not have much padding on it. So every time you turn, you go bam, right into the metal like restraint. Um, and it is not fun at all. You kind of hit your hip bone on it, which is not a good feeling. And overall, not a good ride. There's a decent amount of airtime. Um, so if you are a fan of rough wooden coasters for whatever reason, um, then I mean, you, you may like it. And it does go through the forest, so the night ride isn't as bad, just because it's kind of cool and you can't really see, and it's just a cool experience. But it's still a terrible ride, no matter if you ride it in the day or in the night, or I don't know, at 10.35 p.m. Um, on a Saturday evening, I don't know, random time. Whatever time you ride it, it's not gonna be good. Number three is a coaster that um, I wouldn't really classify as a thrill coaster. It's more of a family coaster because it is a wild mouse, um, but it is still supposed to give you a thrill, so that's why it's on this list. It is, get ready for this wonderful name, Gotham City Gauntlet Escape from Arkham Asylum, and that is located at Six Flags New England. Ha, huh, man, this coaster is very, very bad. Um, it is not fun at all. Um, it is like just not, not a fun experience, really. Um, overall, it, it didn't like it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain the badness of this coaster. Um, every time you hit a turn on some wild mouse coasters, the turns are super fun because you kind of feel like you're being flamed out and then you're like, wee, right? Um, this one, not really as much. Um, the turns felt a lot tighter, which was not a good thing um, because it didn't really pull you, it more flinged you towards the side. Um, also, there was no divider in between 
So, um, you like kind of just slammed into the person next to you. There was a little bar because it was like one restraint and then there was a bar in the middle. So someone would sit on one side of the bar, someone would sit on the other and your knee would just keep hitting the metal bar. There was no padding on it. It was just straight up just a metal pole. Um, and your like kneecap would just hit it. It was terrible. Um, if I actually have my POV of it, I'm going to sh um, share some audio from it of us, like m us being um, me, my my cousin, and my cousin's friend um, writing it. Um, if you're sensitive to explicit like words, um, then don't watch this part. I'll like skip, like just skip it. But um, this is this is some audio of us writing it. If I have access to it. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck? Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, is this gonna like fall? <laughs> <laughs> Too big! Ah. 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 Oh my god! That hurts so bad! Yeah, it was, it was just such a bad ride. Um, would not recommend going on it other than just for the credit, which is all that I did. Um, so overall, bad, bad coaster, bad name, <laughs> um, and yeah, that's why it's on this list. Number two is a coaster that a lot of people really, really, really like. And it's also at, of course, my favorite park, and pretty much every coaster enthusiast favorite park, at least who have been here. Um, it is at Cedar Point, and it is Raptor. What? Now, the reason why I really do not like this coaster um, is because maybe of the ride I got on it, um, but I was sitting in the front row, so it's not like I was sitting towards the back and the forces made this happen. Um, but I've, and I've heard a lot of people complain about the head banging, um, but they've said it wasn't absolutely terrible. For me, it was. Um, I couldn't even focus on the ride at all. Looking back, normally I'm able to at least kind of visualize like what a ride layout kind of does. You know, like Grizzly, I'm like, oh yeah, it kind of goes down, goes over a, a turn, and then goes down an airtime hill turn, stuff like that, right? Um, on Raptor, I don't even know at all what the layout is. Like, I can't envision it because the whole time my head was just hitting side to side so fast that I couldn't even see what was happening in front of me. Um, and again, I was sitting in the front row, um, so it, I should have been able to like see everything that was coming and I just couldn't. My head was hitting back and forth a whole bunch of times. Um, it felt like my head was a ping pong ball or a tennis ball and the restraints were like the rackets and they were just bam, hitting me back and forth. Um, except way faster than, than like a tennis ball, you know. Um, anyways, it was just overall awful ride, especially the transition going into the brake run. It just snaps back. Um, and you would think, like, looking at it, I'm like, oh, that looks bad, you would hit your head once. No, even, like, it took all of the strength that I had, including my dad, um, who's probably way stronger than me, not probably, is way stronger than me, um, neither of us could keep our heads sturdy. Um, it hit this side, and then it went back, and it probably hit the restraints back and forth maybe five times. Um, just in that ending break run, and it was not fun at all. So that is why, one, it's my least favorite coaster at Cedar Point. I will give it another chance. Um, hopefully I'm going back this year, I'm not sure. Um, depends on where Corona is. Um, but hopefully I am going to be going back, and if I do, it'll be with Colton, so that'll be super fun. Um, but I will give it another chance. Um, but for right now, I got a terrible experience with it, and it's my least favorite coaster at Cedar Point. Second least co favorite coaster that I've ever been on. And number one is something that a decent amount of people complain about, but I haven't heard 
too many people talk about this coaster. Um, but I'm about to, and I'm about to for like five minutes because it's so bad. No, I'm not gonna talk about it for five minutes, but I'm gonna talk about it. It is Goliath at Six Flags New England. This is a giant inverted boomerang. Now, this is the only giant inverted boomerang that I've been on, and because of that, of course, it was my first one. Um, it's terrible. <laughs> um, a lot of people say that it used to be really good when it used to be, I believe it was at Six Flags Magic Mountain, and it got moved to Six Flags New England. Um, a lot of people said that it was pretty all right um, when it was at Six Flags Magic Mountain, um, but then they somehow like like they changed the train design or they just changed like they switched trains um, on the coaster and it made it bad. Um, I'm not sure like the origin or why it's bad or anything like that. I'm just here to say it is awful. Um, it's kind of similar to Raptor in terms of my head was hitting back and forth um, of the restraints constantly um, and like I couldn't really see anything in front of me um, but I, um, in addition to that it also jackhammered you up and down so like if you ri ride ro um, sorry I cannot speak right now if you ride wooden coasters um, then you will know that feeling of kind of going up and down like jackhammering up and down um, the boss at Six Flags St. Louis is a great example of this is probably one of the roughest like wooden coasters in terms of jackhammering you up and down um, that you can find. So take the boss at Six Flags St. Louis, like the jackhammering, then take my experience at least with Raptor at Cedar Point and then put them together and that's what Goliath at Six Flags New England is. Um, you jackhammer up and down and side to side. So basically your whole body is going like this the whole ride with super bulky restraints. So in all, it's just boom, 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 boom. Um, it sucks. It really, really, really sucks. Um, and that's why it's definitely my least favorite coaster that I have ever been on. Um, if I go back, there's a chance that I'll give it another ride, but honestly, I'll probably skip it. Um, mainly because like with Raptor, I'm gonna give it another chance just because I hear a lot of people who say that it's really good. With this coaster, nobody says it's good. Um, so because I got a bad ride, because I got a bad ride on it and a lot of people are as well, um, I don't think I would give it another chance. But anyways, that's my list um, of my top 10 least favorite coaster that I have been on. Um, please comment down below what was the most surprising coaster um, on this list and then what was the most like, yeah, okay, that makes sense, coaster on this list. Um, please comment those down below um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys' comments. Anyways, yeah, that's, that's really it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up button. If you made it all the way through, then you'll probably... I'm going to be interested in other top like 10 and top 20 videos that um, I do. So click up here to see more top um, top whatever videos. This is my top 10s playlist. Um, and overall, subscribe, like, blah, 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 all that cool YouTuber stuff to try to brainwash you into watching more of their videos. And I will see you guys all next time. Uh, peace uh, out. Uh -huh.